only lights up the artwork itself, and I can dim it, and I can make it brighter. The light only hits the canvas, it doesn't hit any of the frame itself. So let's run through exactly what these things are doing, and how they work in Lightroom. Welcome to Refresh's Art Gallery. We've been getting a lot of feedback on these beam shapers that we've installed from Phantom Lighting, and I wanted to run you through exactly how these things work, because a lot of you are asking if maybe this would be a perfect application for your house. So let's run through exactly what these things are doing and how they work in layman's terms. I don't exactly know all the layman terms and engineering and stuff. So we'll just go simplicity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we perfectly frame this artwork in light. What these do is they shape the light so that you get a perfect frame around the artwork and not the frame itself. So if I turn this light on and off, you'll see when that light goes on, it only lights up the artwork itself and I can dim it and I can make it brighter. And if you go up nice and close, what you'll see is that the light only hits the canvas. It doesn't hit any of the frame itself. You've obviously seen our video of how we installed this product, but what also comes with it, first of all, you get this manual. It's very important that you read this before you install it. There is some uh, equations in here to determine where exactly you're supposed to put these lights relative to the artwork. They do have a lot of leniency for where you can put them, but if you put them too close, you won't be able to cast the light the exact way you want to. So make sure you read the instructions and put them exactly where they want. The people at Phantom Lighting, namely Tom, will definitely help you decide exactly where they go and which light is perfect for your room too. So make sure you ask the questions beforehand. They come with these things called shutters. And I'm going to take this, this trim off and I'm going to show you exactly what it is, but they look like this. They come with a variety of shapes and sizes. So every single one of these shutters, whether it be a square, a triangle, or a pentagon, they all have a different radius here on the edge. And it's a little complicated, but each radius can, can be more beneficial for certain situations. If you're closer to the art, if you're more on an angle to the art, all of that stuff it can make a difference with what shutter you use. But the principle of this is pretty simple, at least for a simple person like me. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're doing. If I take this off, so here we are. You can clearly see that there's four shutters in there. We've got the two pen pentagons and a couple hexagons there too. And I'll demonstrate exactly what they do. The reason this one is bent is because the ones at the bottom sometimes get uh, can obstruct the plate from going on. So they advise you to bend it back to make sure it stays up. So what these shutters do is the shutters are what create the square shape of the beam. Uh, otherwise, if I take all the shutters out, all you're going to be left with is just a spotlight. It's just going to be a big circular light. But once you get everything installed, as per the instructions, it's actually pretty straightforward. So if you look at the canvas right now, it's very well framed. I have no light on the frame itself, it's just on the canvas. Watch what happens when I pull the right hand shutter outwards a bit. You can see that the light is actually moving onto the frame. And I can pull it all the way out so that you see light all the way there. And that's my, that's my square right there. All I'm doing is I'm just moving that in and out. Can you see that? I'm just moving in and out, in and out, in and out. And that's in and out, in and out on the light itself. On top of that, you can also move these lenses in and out. So if I pull this in or out, watch what happens to the sharpness of the line. See how I can either make it faded or I can make it very sharp. And in this case, we really want that edge, the perimeter of the light to be sharp. So I'm gonna put it as sharp as I possibly can. And then now since I've messed with it, you can see that the light is sort of diffusing up onto the frame here suddenly. And obviously my left hand side is completely out over to the frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust that one on the left, which is actually the right hand shutter because it's inverted. So I'm gonna bring that one in and then you can watch as on the left hand side of the frame, I'm gonna pull it so that that light just brushes the canvas. Is we just have a little bit on the top, a little bit on the right and a little bit on the bottom. So I'm gonna adjust the top one first, which is actually the bottom shutter here, the bent one. So you can see, I just need to bring those that in a bit. Give it a little twist. And then I've gotta do the right hand side. And then I just gotta do the bottom. The bottom's flooding onto the, the frame a bit. So I'm just gonna push that one in a bit. Okay. Okay, so now you can see that the light is perfectly cast just onto the canvas itself. You can spend hours doing this. You can really make it perfect depending on the angle that you put the projector on and the proximity to the artwork and then the different shutters you use and where you place them. You can make all kinds of arrangements and you can really make this perfect. You can use square, you can use round frames, you can use rectangular frames, it doesn't matter. You can basically shape this thing however you want. So now it's all set. I'm gonna tighten up these joints in here and I'm gonna put this cover back on. Another important thing to remember before I put this cover on is that I like to adjust these beam shapers with the brightness full 
Um, most people may not like the look of the full brightness on the actual artwork itself. So once we get it set, we're actually going to dim the light and make sure that we like the way it looks with it dim too. It's just a little bit easier with full brightness to see your perimeter and make sure that everything's set. So I'm going to put this on, carefully not to bump anything. All right, so everything's on there. So now let's go mess with the dimmer and see if we can make it look special. So like I said, it's full brightness right now, which, uh, you know, everybody's got their own perspective on how they want their art to look. But I'm just going to mess around with the dim levels and see if we can get it to the way we want it. So you can see you can play around with this thing really as long as you want. You can really set the mood depending on how you have your ambient lighting, whether it's at nighttime or throughout the day. Um, if you want these to really stand out, you can certainly put it to full blast with the lights off. But uh, you can also just make it a little more subtle and have it right down at the bottom of the dim level just so that you, you can barely perceive the light on it. When you have it low, you almost forget how dark it looks without the light directly on it. At this point, you can almost kind of forget that there is a light on it. But once I turn the light off completely, you realize that you're, you're not doing your artwork any favors by not having a direct light on it. And what's so great about these is that as opposed to just an art light that hangs over the top, you're really focusing the light exactly where you want it. So this is our first time using phantom lighting. We've done beam shapers in the past, but we have to say we're pretty impressed. And we're going to continue to mess around with these two and make them perfect. But I'm going to put the light back on and there you have it. This is two installations of phantom lighting. If you have any questions, shoot us a message, shoot them a message. We'll be happy to help you install it however we can, if that's through a direct message or just through the comment board. Either way, let us know what you think. Uh, we want to see your pictures of you installing these. Thanks.